Graviditi, from the Latin graviditas, which means heavy, is a term used to describe an animal carrying eggs internally. Essentially, it's the egg-bearing version of pregnant. As I mentioned in the previous video, once a female monitor has ovulated, she is officially gravid. And this video is going to be about the appearance and behavior of gravid monitors. Earlier on in this video series, when I was discussing patellogenesis in part 4, I mentioned that some of the signs that a female is going through the very start of a reproductive cycle, such as a change in appetite, enlarged abdomen, resting with her belly hanging, and test digging, were also signs of gravidity. Because of this, a lot of this video is going to look very familiar, except in a different order. We're going to start with this sign, enlarged abdomen. The period between ovulation and egg laying is a little over two weeks in a large monitor, roughly 15 to 16 days. What happens during this time is the yolked up ova are coated in albumin and shelled. As the eggs in the oviduct increase in size, one noticeable sign is the female getting even larger around the belly. Just how large the female's belly gets varies, depending on clutch size, the size of the female, and even how well she is able to hold her abdominal muscles. I've seen tiny females that were barely showing at all go on to lay quite large clutches. You may recall that when the female's belly starts to enlarge because of vitellogenesis at the start of the reproductive cycle, she may rest in odd positions to take the pressure off her lungs and other organs. This is quite different from the ovulation postures seen in the last video, where the female was arching her back rather than letting her belly hang. Well, when the female is gravid, she goes back to hanging her belly again, and we start seeing those odd hanging postures all over again. You will also probably recall that in the video on vitellogenesis, I had mentioned that one of the female lace monitors I had kept had a particular pose she would adopt in a particular part of the enclosure when she was starting a reproductive cycle. Well, that female would adopt the very same pose when she was gravid as well. This video shows her adopting this pose during different reproductive events over several years. And although it looks very similar to the video I had done showing her in this pose in the video on vitellogenesis, if you compare the two, you'll see that these are different photographs taken on different dates. Of course, not all monitors are going to rest in this very same pose, but the purpose of this is to show you that females will adopt stereotypic poses which reduce the pressure of the developing eggs on her organs. And again, just as she did during vitellogenesis, the female will also adopt vertical resting poses on trees. Here's a comparison shot of two different females in different years resting in the very same pose while gravid. And here are a few other shots of females resting in belly hanging postures while gravid. Once again, as she did during vitellogenesis, the female will start test digging. This time, however, the digs will become more serious. especially as she gets closer to laying. A question I sometimes get asked is whether or not you should refill the holes after she's finished digging. This is a tricky one as it depends on how close you think she is to nesting. If I've been lucky enough to catch her ovulating, and therefore have a fair idea of when she's going to lay, I'll stop refilling the holes a few days before she is due to lay. 
The female will often then recheck the hole and perhaps do a tiny bit of digging, but for the most part will relax a bit. If you haven't managed to see the female ovulating, there are a couple of other ways to tell when she's getting close to laying. The first isn't particularly reliable, as it varies from female to female and even from clutch to clutch. That is, a loss of appetite again. This is another parallel with vitellogenesis. The other sign is a bit more reliable and is something you don't see during vitellogenesis, and that is a thinning tail base. This usually happens within a few days of laying, and what you're looking for is the female thinning around her hips and tail base. This will require you to have a fair idea of what your female looks like under normal conditions, because the changes can be quite subtle. But essentially what you're looking for could be a bit of extra muscle definition around the base of her tail. Her hips will seem to stick out a bit more. Or she could have slightly wrinkly skin on her tail base. When the female is test digging, you may notice the vertebrae in her tail sticking up a bit more than usual. Here's a gravid wild female heath monitor. Note the thinning tail base. And you can even see the outline of the eggs in her abdomen. This contrast between a large round belly and thinning tail base it's one of the characteristics of a gravid female getting close to laying. So, what if a female goes through all the external appearances of being gravid, but her tail does not thin, and she does not end up laying eggs? You may recall from previous videos me mentioning that if conditions aren't right for nesting, a female will sometimes resorb the ova rather than ovulate and lay eggs. Sometimes when this happens, a female will continue to act as though she is gravid, perhaps even going as far as digging a nest and attempting to lay eggs, but nothing happens. Just like a false pregnancy, these false gravidities are fairly uncommon, but they do happen. However, it's much more likely that your female is going to go through all the normal steps of being gravid and hopefully go on to lay eggs which is the subject of the next video. I hope you got something out of this video. If you want to be notified when the next video is uploaded, you know the deal. Click that subscribe button, and then click on notifications. Until then, cheers.